Welcome back, everyone. This is Jeff with Terrain 4x4 Adventures coming to you with another video of, of our travels and our adventures. So I'm solo this trip. Um, I'm making my way out from Southern California out to beautiful Scottsdale, Arizona. We'll be taking in the first of the season Adventure Van Expo out in Scottsdale. But I have a special request and that is dogs, dogs, dogs. So we have, uh, as many of you know, we've got a black lab, Bella Rouge, she's about to turn 12. And we recently added to our family, Maisie May, who uh, we got just after Christmas as a puppy. And so at the request of my daughter, Erica, we're gonna talk about how we travel with our dogs in the van, how difficult it is, and and just kind of what we do. So stick around and uh, we're gonna share some dog content on this video. And, and of course, we're gonna talk vans. We're gonna talk Adventure Van Expo. So lots of good stuff to come. All right, so let's first talk about how these dogs travel with us. So when Mary Jane's not with me, Maisie becomes the co-pilot and we have her harnessed in up here. Uh, love this harness that we picked up off of Amazon. And then she's actually buckled in as well. Um, this is Kurgo brand. Uh, I got this also on, on Amazon. That's the same brand as this harness. And uh, so she's, she's locked in here. So as you can imagine, as a puppy, she's a little playful likes to move around and uh, this kind of keeps her <laughs> in one spot. So we're we're kind of training her not to jump out of this. She's doing really well. Um, she loves sitting up here because as you can see, she can see what's going on. In this case, we got the beautiful view of this rest stop. So uh, we make use of rest stops quite frequently for little potty breaks. We just got back from a little potty break. And then for Miss Bella, she's right between us. So she is so comfortable. She loves sitting down here, uh, just right between us, which is great. And uh, she is resting on a three inch memory foam pad. This is actually a pad that fits in real nicely here. It's designed to go into a dog crate, uh, but we purpose it for this. Again, we picked that one up on Amazon as well. And uh, so here's how we travel. Maisie, what do you see? What are you looking at? It's people, it's just people. <laughs> All right, so here we go, moving on. So I also wanna hear from you. I wanna learn from you guys as well. And uh, in particular, we wanna know what you're using to monitor the temperature in your, in your vans for when you leave your dogs alone. So we haven't done that too much. We did do a hike when we were out at uh, Capitol Reef, left Bella in the van for a couple of hours, had the air conditioner going, although it wasn't really hot, but we just had it going for her just to make sure that she was comfortable. But, you know, we're, we're moving into summertime and we wanna be able to monitor the temperature of our van uh, in case we go out on an extended hike or a bike ride and leave these uh, these two pups here. So what are you using? Share with, that. Share with me in the comments what you're using, what you've used, liked, dis disliked. Would love to get your feedback on that as well. And, and uh, you know, we, we're just going at this how we how we do it and share with you. But uh, if you see something that we're doing, love your feedback on uh, things that we can do differently or better or make our dogs more comfortable. Um, would love to would love to hear back from you. So leave a comment. All right, check this out. We are out on the Imperial Sand Dunes just west of Yuma, Arizona. This place is so cool. Think our van could make it up there? Let's give it a shot. I'll put it in four wheel low. I think we could do that. <laughs> no, I don't think I'm gonna do that today. Pretty cool though.
She may be a puppy, but she's very obedient. Not even gonna touch my fries. That's a good girl, Maisie. That's a good girl. All right, if you haven't been to an Adventure Van Expo, you got to get out there. There's a, quite a few of them throughout the country. This is the one here in Scottsdale. Check them out. Lots of great vendors there. Oh, there's our van. And uh, yeah, just lots of vendors sharing information. Great place to learn. At many of them, like this one, you can camp out. This is a camping section in Scottsdale. But like I said, just lots of great vendors out there showing off all their gear. I like to walk around early in the morning, about nine o'clock, they open at 10, kind of do a circle around and just kind of get a lay of the land and then kind of look at those vendors that you want to circle back to and spend some more time with. So if you haven't been, you got to go check it out. Next one is in Austin, Texas, then San Juan Capistrano. So lots more on the agenda. Oh, Bella, she just loves to, Get her back scratched one way or another. So just want to show you guys how we keep our dogs tied up around camp. We just have these uh, tie down straps. Just pick these up off of Amazon. And I just slip them through the side step of the van and then uh, attach just a little nylon cord. Carabiners, carabiner on her collar and she stays close. <laughs> this dog loves the van life, for sure. Waking up to views like this just makes van life so enjoyable. Oh, Maisie, what are you getting into right now? So just got the dogs fed. Bella's finishing up her breakfast. And now I'm getting ready to help Maisie burn some energy. We're gonna go on a nice little walk here in just a second. We are in the Tonto National Forest in Arizona. What a beautiful sunrise. All right, first things first. Gotta get our coffee going. start the day. So I've made it my goal to get out every morning. <laughs> and walk for at least a mile. And now that we've got Maisie, <laughs> I think she'll be my companion on these walks. My goodness, look at you. You are a mess, girl. Bella Roo. <laughs> Can I get the brush out? Really? So if I happen to be passing through an urban area, I'll always try and find a nice dog park. Let the girls get out and stretch her legs. And of course, Bella. We'll roll around and get all dirty. And this is where Bella sleeps. Same places where she hangs out when we're driving. And uh, also we use these little collapsible dog dishes um, for feeding them and giving them water. Great space saver in the van. Uh, they're available at all the various pet stores. 
they just collapse down, making it nice and nice and convenient to save space in the van. All right, here we are. Morning walk time. So obviously Bella can't probably go the whole way. So I'll just do a bit bit of an up and back. There's the van out in the distance. I'll just do a bit of an up and back and then we'll uh, continue on with burning some energy out of this little pup. Amazing me. You can do it, Bella. Good girl. <laughs> Doing her best to keep up with the pup. So proud of you, Bella. <laughs> Going on 12 years old. Still got that energy. Look at her go. Love this. <laughs> She's got some arthritis in her hips that she takes daily medication for. But she keeps on trucking. That's a good girl. So yeah, I'll do a uh, no more than a half mile with Bella and then at least a mile with Maisie Mae. All right, so a couple of other things that I just wanted to point out. To keep these dogs cool, and to keep us cool, we actually tinted our front windshield and our side windows. So it's interesting, uh, yesterday when I was driving through the Arizona desert, there was direct sunlight shining down on Maisie and I, I just touched her coat and her coat was absolutely cool. So uh, that's definitely an essentialist to have uh, these windows tinted. I think I did 75%. I don't remember exactly what the, the tint level was, but uh, she's comfy, she's cool while riding in the van and so are we as well. So another thing we do um, to make sure that our dogs are cool is if we leave them in here for any period of time, if we're going in, get a quick bite to eat or something, um, we'll close this uh, blackout curtain by Van Wife. I'll leave a link in the description. I did a review on these a while back, but we have a nice curtain rod here that uh, was standard in our van. We just slide these closed. They got these nice magnets built in and that just creates uh, just another buffer between all the heat that uh, still continues to come in through the front windshield, even though, like I said, we do have it tinted, but you still do get a fair amount of heat in there. And if we're gonna be away from the van uh, for much longer and we've got some temperatures going on, uh, we will put up our van essential window coverings in the front. And uh, I did a review on those as well. I'll leave a link in the description if you want uh, more information about those guys too. So uh, with the window covers up front, with these blackout curtains and with the air conditioner on, um, I'm real comfortable that uh, these dogs stay cool. So that's a wrap on this one. And I really hope you found this to be helpful and informative. And again, I'm trying to learn from you guys as well. So if I left anything out, please add a comment. I'd love to get your feedback. And I also want to thank everyone for helping us reach the thousand subscriber mark. We just did that this past week. So thank you for that. Take care, everybody. And we hope to see you out on the trail sometime soon.